Hi guys, welcome back to more PES 6. Today we're at the Emirates Stadium uh, for Arsenal. And uh, last season we came here and we took a lead through Zarjas, if you remember him when he used to play for us. Very short amount of time that he played for us though, but yeah. And uh, yeah, and then we conceded very late on. and uh, But that's the way things go, so... Uh, this time round, we're looking to better that, and we're looking to better the um, performance that we had here a few weeks ago in the uh, cup. It ended nil-nil between both of us, so uh, if we can uh, do a, maybe a little better than that, then that'll be all right. So uh, Arsenal sitting six there, and uh, yeah, we still got to play them in the uh, cup semi-final second leg. That's not for a, a, a while just yet. But uh, we'll get round to it. And uh, they've got Maluda on the left of midfield there. Okay, I didn't know they had him. Um, so, yeah. And uh, we've got pretty much a full strength team out today. A company in there, Maldini Piccolo, at the back there. I mean, our full strength would probably include Metzelda. But um, Metzelda's fatigue is quite high. So, uh, yeah. And uh, so Maldini, when he plays at the back, he doesn't uh, do half bad, honestly. I don't remember a bad game he's really ever had. But yeah, here's a boo here, and we need to stop him. And it uh, shouldn't be on his job to chase after him, but there you go. And it's back. His De La Pena goes for a shot, but Carini is there easily enough to it. Booted up the field here. They've got Thierry Henry up front, and I think it was uh, Van Persie, was it? So uh, yeah, here's on out. Here's move two. And uh, he's trying to put... Uh, Agbon Lahore in. Agbon Lahore shot. He's going to end up in the net. One shot, one goal so far today. That is uh, a bit insane, honestly, because I didn't think that shot was going to end up in. That is a perfect start. Agbon Lahore on the 10. You know it. He's, uh, he's always great. And that's why he was selected today. We got like Sabio on the bench. We got a Beaner on the left hand side of the midfield again today, which I haven't mentioned. He used to play up front, but now he plays on the left of midfield for us, which he, he plays fine there anyway. He can play there. So yeah, I mean like Chu Young sometimes plays on the right. He's not meant to play there, but yeah, Maxwell is in there today. He's uh, he's back. And uh, yeah, and uh, here's Maluda, and that's cut out. Mafio is in there in the DMF today, along with Mbami. Uh, decided to give a rest to Pedretti. It was either Pedretti or Mbami for a rest, and I went with um, uh, Pedretti on that one. So yeah, and yeah, here's Ambrose for them. And that's taken away by Honor. Here's Obina. And uh, here's Mu2. And still Mu2, is it? Ah, never mind, he did well. Van Persie. It's like Bon Lahore. And he's tend his defender inside out. Here's. Uh, Maxwell's effort! Oh! Yes! Nice! By Maxwell. I was just thinking before, I can't remember the last time he actually scored, but there you go. He's, um... I think he's got one or two this season, actually, saying that, but... Nice effort! Oh, yeah. That is well away from the keeper. Fired up the shot, just had enough time to take it on. Before I think Sendros um, tried to put in a slide tackle, but yeah, there you go, two 0 And immediately we've achieved more here <laughs> than we did in the uh, game last season. So yeah. No, over here is Dela Pena, is Maluda. I mean, I don't know how Arsenal didn't score to be honest last time we we played them in that cup game. Into the box there. Company deals with it. It's a wear. Here's Mutu. It's a beaner out wide. 
It's Mutu back with Urbina. This is looking pretty nice. Urbina puts Mutu in. It's Mutu for number three. And that was well worked between the two there. That's what we wanted. We wanted something like this in that cup game and that didn't happen. Nice work by Urbina and Mutu that linking up very well on that left side. And we're off yet again. And uh oh, Eggbon the Hall's lost it there. And uh Omri's offside. Matthew to Urbina, who's going to keep the run going here. It's not bad. Oh, it's free. And it's out of play. Keeper had to get something on. He got Poom in goal. Urbina. Matthew doesn't put Urbina back in. Is or Henri. It's back to Mafio. It's Mutu. Oh, who goes for a ball over the top? Oh, he's found a uh, Bonnaho here. Van Persie. And uh, Ambrose is keeping the run on. And uh, Ono went for the slide tackle. Here's a Bui out wide. In. Headed clear. And uh, Maxwell is... Uh, <laughs> he was sort of uh, trying to keep up with it. Offside there from Henri. I think yet again. My vote. And I want to say that's onside. It is, but Abue is quicker to it. Nice ball to a bean of that. Whipped in. Oh, Mutu was waiting. In again. And there, that's half time. Yeah, that's a, a good performance so far. Don't have much else to say, just keep it up. Bit surprising though, though, to get three goals that quick. An interesting stat though is that um, those three goals were the only three shots we had. So all of them were on target and they all resulted in goals. So that was uh, pretty strange, that one. But since then, Arsenal have kept us a bit quiet. So, uh, yeah. And uh, here's company on a run. And uh, back with Arsenal here. Ambrose, Henri, Maluda, Hedda is uh, to Van Persie,
Out to Rabina. It's Mafio. It's Obina. He tries to play Mutu. Oh, it's just enough for him. He gets it into the box and the keeper has got to it. Only as far as honoured though. He, he throws it out. Zomri. That's cleared. It's Mbami, and he uh, plays it wide to Abina, who's uh, been good in this game so far. Della Pena to Ambrose again, who's on the right of midfield. He's uh, trying to drive him forward when he gets the ball. Almost like an attacking midfielder in some ways, but uh, it's been had the ball down the centre maybe once, twice, and Maluda still got it, and uh, it's going to be a corner, which Van Persie will take. And uh, it's headed clear and away. And it's Van Persie's shot, and it doesn't trouble Carini. He's going to throw it out. And here's Mutu, who puts Ono in. Oh, just wide. Unlucky, that one. Going to make some changes. Going to bring Andy Cole on because uh, he's on red form yet again uh, for Bonlahor. That's one of them. Um, trying to think what was the other one. I'm bringing Ben Arthur on for Obina as well. And uh, this could be really good here. This could be Bonlahor coming off with a goal perhaps. Or maybe not. It's still like Bonlahor. Oh, it's going to go wide. Did what he could, but yeah. And uh, Vandenbo is on for Maxwell. And uh, that's it for today. But uh, yeah, really impressed with Andy Cole so far, honestly. Not bad. Might not have a, a lot under his belt, but... Um, for his age and you know a lot of well to be honest I think his stamina has been kind of fine actually saying it so a lot of young players do kind of suffer from bad stamina uh, and trying to be fit so uh, oh chance there but um, yeah he's been okay could have had a goal against United the other night which would have been a bit <laughs> a bit a bit weird Ball over the top is picked out by Carini. Andre. De La Pena. Sombre again. Mutu. Oh, he's got past him. It's Mutu for Andy Cole. Are you kidding? Oh, he's missed it. He's at the post. The keeper was diving on the floor. It was a wide open net to get his third goal for us against Arsenal. And he fluffed it. I cannot believe that, honestly. Just saying how. <laughs> kind of impressed I was with him so far and then he does something like that but oh well
I don't think there was any uh, added time was there. I don't remember seeing much. But there you go. That's the end. Um, I'm really <laughs> a little bit um, disappointed that uh, he didn't score that one there. That would have really been the icing on the cake today. But still good performance nonetheless. On a 7.0 man of the match. Uh, so pretty much sixes everywhere apart from Maldini there. So it was pretty solid. Um, yeah. Six, he probably maybe got 6.5 had he scored that, maybe. Maybe. Ben Arthur came on, didn't see a lot of him. Van den has got a 6, so... Yeah, it was a solid performance. Anyway, fixture 22 results. Chelsea won 1-0 against Aston Villa to kick us off with. Uh, Liverpool won at Bolton 2-1. Newcastle drew with Middlesbrough 1-1. Uh, Blackburn beat Manchester City 2-1. Manchester United drew a Wigan 1-1. Everton won away at Fulham 2-1. And uh, West Ham won away at Spurs 1-0. So the uh, league table is like this then. Nothing to note yet again there. It's um, Nobody moves up, nobody's moved down in that top half so uh, yeah um, what are we 12 points clear with uh, I think what there's eight is it eight games to go now so we're getting there um, yeah we could effectively sort of win the title I think then within the next what four ish games pretty much if things go our way there and I think we've got have we got Chelsea coming up soon I think we have so it could be over soon but uh, yeah moving down to the bottom uh, we got Everton moving up there, Bolton down to 10th, and uh, Manchester City are back into a relegation spot. Um, following that today, Wigan, I think, picked up a point, didn't they? And they've moved back up to 14th, so it's uh, it's still on there. And the goal difference is exactly the same between them. The goal scored isn't too far off either. So, uh, yeah, Newcastle still five points off it. They picked up a point today, but... Um, it's really late now. So fixture 23 is up next. And to start us off there, Manchester City desperately need points against Aston Villa. Bolton are against Blackburn. Arsenal are away at Wigan. Liverpool are at home to Chelsea. We're looking for a Liverpool win there or a draw at the very minimum. That would really help us out. Everton are against Newcastle. Middlesbrough against uh, Tottenham. Manchester United at home to West Ham. So that could be uh, a good game there. And uh, we're at home to 13th place Fulham. So, uh, yeah, join us for that one next time, guys. Please do comment, rate, subscribe, and share as always, and see you for that. Take care.